Welcome back. So what we got so far, I hit play and I walk around and it's a nice first person controller that we managed to create using a third person template or third person character template. Great. But right now for all it uh, works right now, it still looks quite bland, right? So if I hit play now, uh, I can just walk around. There's, there are no HUDs or nothing of that, nothing of that sort. And also the player is going to have something like an armor. Uh, which is represented by some value and also going to have health which is also represented by some value uh, like any other first person shooter or any other game which has all of these attributes for a player or a character. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make that out first. Uh, so uh, I'll go over, head over back to the third person blueprint and I will not be adding any code yet but I'll definitely be adding a bunch of couple of variables. Uh, I need two variables. I need hum. I need a variable to hold the player's health, and then I need a variable to hold the player's armor. Okay. So I'm gonna click on the variable, and I'm gonna call this health first, and then again I'm gonna call this armor. Right. Now health and armor, they're both gonna be floats. Okay. I'll change that to float. Okay. And compile that. Now. We have to give them some uh, default values and the reason it's float is because I want to keep the range of the health uh, between 0 and 1. So a 1, value of 1 would mean 100% health and a value of 0.5 would mean 50% health and a value of 0 0.01 would mean 1% uh, health and so on and so forth. Okay, So that's the reason I want to have the health as a float. And for the same reason, I want the armor also to be a float variable, right? So anything between zero and one, so one would represent 100%. So that's this on a scale of zero to 100, which shrinks down to zero to one, as simple as that, right? So both, I'm gonna have them as one uh, for default values, and I'm gonna move on from there, right? So uh, we will create those bars right now in uh, for the widget blueprints. Uh, so when you want to show anything on the screen you need to have some sort of uh widgets uh, uh you know ui widgets and we're gonna create that as a blueprint now and we'll be using simple bars and whatever we have available for us but going forward we'll replace them with some good looking fancy graphics okay yeah. so since we are just prototyping right now so we can afford to do that anyways so i'll right click and i'll create a new folder and i'll just call this ui and now inside UI, I'll be creating a new widget blueprint and I'll call this user interface widget blueprint. Okay. Okay. I'm going to name this uh, FPS HUD for right now. Or uh, I can just call this HUD, I guess. Yep. I'll just call this HUD and open this up. I'm going to need two progress bars at the bottom. And we can later on uh, think about beautifying it uh, because right now they're just going to be ugly rectangles sitting down there. Uh, at this at this point in the screen and it'll do its job but later on we're gonna add all the fancy graphics and we'll make it look good but not right now but for now all we're gonna do is we're gonna drag a couple of progress bars i'm gonna drag a progress bar down to the bottom here okay like this and i'm gonna name this uh i'm gonna first anchor this to the bottom okay i'll do this Okay, and I'll say 0.5 and 0.5 where it comes up or 0.5 uh, that's okay uh, and I'll just bring this up a little bit so select this and I'll use my arrow keys to bring it up like this I think that's good enough okay and I'll make I'll name this as health bar okay and then again I'll right click copy and I'll paste this back in the panel and of course uh, I'll zero them out I'll name this as armor bar okay and select that and just move it around like this okay so that's good now I'll select the health bar and I'll give it some uh, size so I'll say uh, size X can be I don't know 300 that's fine and armor bar can also be 300 okay so now we have the health bar and armor bar for the health bar i'll choose a color first and i'll choose something like this red okay or like a pale red all right and then for the armor bar i'll choose something like yellow now you're free to choose anything you like but i'll choose this all right that's good and we have this yellow little yellow now just to make sure that it works uh you know you can 
change the percentage here so if i do that then you can see that the red is filling up and if the armor bar if i do this i can see that the yellow is filling up all great we have the names now uh, the reason now you could probably understand the reason why we made the health bar and the armor bar inside third person character as floats and uh, we are calculating it between 0 and 1. 